Testing. Oh, hell yeah, there we go. Sick. I see. Alright. Well, I am currently in the process of building a website for my capstone. I had to set my title there. <laughs> uh, so basically what I'm doing is, so part of my capstone, I have to record like how my, how my thing works. So I am, I'm streaming part of the process of me building this here website. Right now it's not working. And I decided that, well, if I stream it, chances are someone could hop in and maybe help me if they know how to do things. So, that's what I'm doing. All right. So, I've got my kind of idea for what I want most of my page to look like, and I've kind of been using other people's branding websites. This is what I've been using. All right, that's good that you can hear me. That's weird. It says that you're not watching the stream right now, but I guess you are. <laughs> HubSpot, very cool. All right, what are these? Basically what I've been doing is I've been using other people who have done websites, and I kind of base mine off of their websites. And then I use some, I can access their code. And that's kind of how I've been, uh, reading or figuring out how to do parts of my oh, programs. So I can go in here and I just hit inspect and then it shows me all of the uh, very poorly organized or it's just really well organized. It's just really packed in there. Does it even have a styles? I don't think he does. No, he just links a bunch of his other things. So, yeah, console, sources. There we go. Huh? Hold up. How many viruses have I gotten? I don't think I've gotten any. Not that I know of. Hopefully I haven't. If they are, they're very stealthy viruses. Yeah. Oh damn, look at that. We got two viewers. Hell yeah. It's pretty sick. Uh, this is so stupid. Yeah. This is what my programming looks like so far. It's not crazy, but I mean, it's all right. Looks like my stream is in excellent condition. That's very good. My chat's keeping up. Alrighty. So right now, basically what my problem is, is on my site. Actually, that doesn't look terrible, but I wanted the corners to be rounded because it looks like hella, hella messed up. So I've been trying to fix that and I have. I can fix that real quick. Yep, all right. I've also just been using, just looking up how to do things on the internet, so like how to get grounded corners and HTML. And yeah, that's what I've been doing. Border radius, ah, yes border radius because so i want this to be round i don't know how round i want it i just know it ha it's got to be round here so we're going to go into senior container just border radius yep Let's start with 20 pixels 
Let's see if that rounded it rounded it at all. Oh, all oh, my viewers went away. I think. Oh, the, it worked. Very good. Very, very good. Oh shoot! I can't see the chat. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. If you hear a lot of mouse clicking and keyboard clacking, that is that is just part of the stream. I can call it AS ASMR or something. Maybe. I don't know if that counts as ASMR, but whatever. So I changed that, and now it should... Oh, look at that. It's a circle. It's a really ugly circle. I need to fix that. Make it taller? Yes. So, senior container, line height. Uh, that doesn't do anything that I know of. Let's find out. Yeah, line height wasn't doing anything. So, if I min height 300, let's change that to 500. Might be too tall. Guess I'll find out. Oh, uh, yep, it made it repeat. 400. Whoa, I think I just made it like 4,500. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oopsies. There we go. So this is what happens when you're bad at typing. You end up with like really messed up. There we go. And we'll change our border radius. Oh, 125 pixels. I made it look, make it look a little better. I think that's about perfect. I'm, that's good. I think it's good. So, yeah. We are all, uh, I don't know if my thing has a audio thing, but let's, uh, pull up some Spotify here. Find some non-copyright sounds and hopefully they don't nail me for using non-copyright sounds. It happens to me all the time. If it'll load. I got all sorts of stupid apps in here. There it is. Oh, there it is. Just took a while. Chat be looking kind of quiet. That's fine. Hmm. Yeah, let's not listen to Nightcore. Let's just do NCS. <laughs> Hopefully it works. NCS music, no copyright sounds. Let me know if this, like, totally breaks my computer audio. Or if it sounds bad. I'm gonna shut my door real quick, and then we'll be good to go. Let me water left in here. Actually, be right back. I'm gonna go fill up my tea thing with tea, and grab a mug, and some other stuff, and I'll be back. Just sit here and enjoy the music unless it sounds like crap or worst case, just mute me.
Your boy has returned. Basically, we've got this really cool teapot in here. It's like the best thing ever for trying to pull all nighters and stuff. It's pretty sweet. I can make like pretty much anything that requires boiling water. So easy. We get that water relatively hot. I think I forgot something. I did forget something. I'll be right back again. All right. <clears throat> Returned. Yeah, let me know if the music ever gets out of hand. I can always turn it down. Let's see, should I go Earl Grey House Darjeeling, which is like a really fancy black tea, I think. And then I also just have generic green tea. Let me know which one you guys think I should go to. You've got until the water's hot, otherwise I'm choosing my own. Let's get to work. I need to make these things heights. Uh, what did we set it to? Was it 400 pixels? All right, let's get to it. This music's so much fun. Height, where's my min height? Min height. 250, 400. Wrong one. Well, now they're too tall. Why are you 400 as your min height? 350, maybe? Ooh, man. Yeah, let's, let's go 350 here. Maybe that'll fix it. Did that actually work? The rounded corners shrunk it. Very neat. So right now I'm just formatting it and then I'm gonna get to the thing. So I think this looks okay unless it breaks when you shrink it. It kinda breaks when you shrink it, but like... It doesn't look terrible for like a mobile website. I think I'm gonna change the outside borders. I think we'll be good. Or not the borders, the margins. Margin. So your margin left is 5% for the about me. I'm going to change you to 10%. And then personal info, your margin right is what I'm looking for. No, senior container margin right. I guess... I never added a margin right. Interesting. Well, we need a margin right for you. Margin right. Uh, let's say... Just, what did I do, 10%? Margin left, 10%. All right, so that forced it down, which means that these have, let's see, that means that the personal info has top two, ooh, that's not supposed to be there. Let's go 2% on the margin left. Might have fixed it. Thank you. Oh man. Thank you, Steven, for the cookie. You cool if I call you Steven still? I do enjoy myself a solid cookie every once in a while. Oh, look at that, someone's playing a game. It's too bad. So 
So senior container, margin right is 10%, margin left is 5%, change U to 2%. And hopefully it fixed it. I think those will, let's just change the 10% to 9% here. We're just gonna inch it down until it all equals 100. Voila, worked. And this works a lot better. That's still broken. Oops. And that's the max shrink. So I need, let's drop it to eight. Margin. Change you to eight here. Actually, let's just drop it straight to seven. As long as it doesn't drop below five, it should look right. And then I need to also fidget with the centering so that that senior picture still fits in the image and doesn't. Can you bring my hand over this? Yep. Let the water cool down just a touch. Your brain hurts. Is that from something else or is that from my programming skills? <laughs> uh, that still breaks. Let's go. Let's drop it back down to five. I don't see the problem with that. As long as it doesn't drop below five, it shouldn't break. Yep, there we go. So 5% was the was the lucky number there that got us what we're looking for. I think this looks fine except for that centering issue. I wonder if I do, if I go in here, there's something I can do to the senior container. Well, we can, we can get rid of that. And lights. Very cool. Um, how's the audio quality for you guys? Like, not mic, because I'm assuming that's probably pretty decent. It's a blue Yeti, but if that sounds bad, let me know. Or, uh, how's, does this music sound broken to you guys? Oh, copy and pasting. I'm actually not doing any copying and pasting. I'm just typing really fast. Or it's lagging, one of the two. <laughs> I don't know, my bit rate might be a little too high. I have it set high because I'm, uh, I'm not doing anything crazy. But yeah. Very good. Oh shoot, hold up. I got a notification on my phone here. You know, I could actually post this to, I could put this on the Insta, see if anyone wants to show up, but let's do that actually, real quick. That's good that the music sounds right, because I would be very sad if it didn't sound right. Make a post here. No, not for my gallery. Photo, there we go. Do you have access to the wines in here? I don't think I do. There it is. All right. Let's get back to work. So what was I at? We've got this, but oh yeah, the, the image centering on shrinking pages. I remember now. 
And uh, so we need to. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. In senior pick, we need to change the uh, background alignment. Is that a thing? Background. Looks like we're going to be doing some research. It is currently 6.16 for me. I'm in Wisconsin. All right. Man, you can see it on my website, can't you? <laughs> I've got all my, per like, half, like, a bunch of my personal info. Some of it's a slight lie, but nobody needs to know my exact location. That would be dangerous. But anyways, I need to... How to change background image alignment. Background position. It's just called background position? Seriously? It's that simple? That's not... That didn't work. Background image, background, no repeat, background attachment fixed. Background position, IE. Okay, so it's a CSS background position property. Background position, yeah. So if I do background position center. Does it work anyways? Like, is it? Interesting. Oh, I didn't fix it. I <laughs> broke it. That's bad. This may be breaking my, breaking my image here. Got some cool pictures here. I'm just going to cover those up. I'm not sponsored. <laughs> no repeat. So we do. Background position property sets the starting position of the background image. By default, the background image is placed in the top left corner of an element. And repeated both vertically and horizontally. So when you say center... It breaks it. Background image. Background. Background position. So the reason it isn't working is because the width, so the reason that this isn't shrinking down is because the width is shrinking this way, which causes my face to get cut out of the image and it only shows my shoulder, uh, which kind of sucks. Like it works, oh shoot, ah damn it. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. Hold up. Shift tab. Problem solved. Gotta love shortcuts. So, basic. I don't need this page anymore. I've got all the websites I need. So basically, I want it to have this sort of effect when I get to the lower lines. So like if I look at this, this section, if I can find it. So that div holds. So that di set. So this whole div is the fanatic. So project view link. 
so a class. All right, so that takes an okay amount of, it doesn't look terribly complicated, which is good because chances are I'm just gonna copy and paste it and then change whatever the heck it is because that is some complicated stuff right there. Not too complicated for someone who's been doing it for a while, but I, uh, I took a course on this, but it was like a very, very long time ago. I think I took it freshman year, so I, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is, like, this took me probably close to five, five hours to figure out, and then I got it to this point, so, yeah. I wonder if I can I'm just kind of break it. Nah, how does it change that? That looks good. I like that little thing in the top corner. I think that works perfectly. Alright, well, should be about perfect. I'll be setting the thing, so I'm going to go with a little bit of Earl Grey. If I can get the damn container open, that would be absolutely wonderful. They make these containers very strong, let me tell you. Okay, you darn container. You're going to get me... Oh, my God. I got it. Thing. It's hard to open a freaking pickle jar. Try opening a container of Ahmad T. Earl Grey. It's mad. I swear to God, are you gonna make me cut this? Just getting our good scissors. God. Thank God nobody British or anything is watching me. Probably gonna, probably wanna freaking murder me after what I just did to that, uh. This bag, I just cut it. Wow, this stuff's awesome. Very strong. Yeah, that should be all it really takes. Doesn't take a whole lot to get a strong tea going. Holy crap, that water turned dark quick. The only thing I don't like about this fancy electric teapot I've got sitting in my room is that sometimes it takes, t makes a tea taste like metal, which is kind of disappointing, but what can you do? Let's get back into this. Set like a, I don't know, five minute timer. Does that sound about right? Let's just do five minute timer. Five minutes. Start. Metallic tea. I know it's the greatest. <laughs> what's crazy is most people when they like anyone who's like not into tea and they're like oh you like tea and then they like make you a cup of tea or something <laughs> most people who like aren't like they think tea tastes metallic <laughs> it's it's either been uh sitting sitting in the, the bag was sitting in the water too long they got the water too hot or they've got a really bad teapot but hey, this electronic one's pretty good. It gets the water boiling in like, I swear, probably two or three minutes, I think is how long it took. But <laughs> I think it's pretty good, like with a regular, the, at least when we've got it home, like the stovetop one, it's on a, like a fire stove. And uh, takes like 10 minutes to boil a thing of water, which is pretty crazy. 
I think I'm gonna leave it like this for now. I know it cuts off the shoulder and it's really ugly, but I guess that's what you get for going to my website on a mobile device. You're lucky to be able to see what's happening. The <laughs> metal shards. <laughs> What are you doing, making your tea in a blender with some tin foil there? Yeah, I hate when I get the metal shards stuck between my teeth. And that causes a gum infection. It's the worst. Alright. I think we're going to move on to our next div here. Oh, shoot. What did I just do? So that ended that div. So this is the next, this is the next section that I'm going to be doing. And yeah, let's start on the next section. For this one, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this, this whole section, I think. So it starts in there. section class project listing so that's the the project listing is the whole thing i think yeah so those are all his projects so we are just going to go ahead and use rafael dolores's thing and we are going to use we're going to make this what the yo stop that I just closed project listing, so that's all project listing, and then just gonna copy. Copy element. Copy path. Let's see, how long is that? I don't know. That's not what I want. Shh. Zip it, Spotify. It's been five minutes yet. I'm really looking forward to this tea. We got a minute left. Cool. This is like a completely unopened container. I can't wait to see how this stuff, if it's any good. Coffee gives me nasty headaches, so I can't drink it. But this stuff, this stuff does the trick. So that didn't copy what I wanted. <laughs> so when you hover over it, it does that, but how? Because I know he's linking... Yeah, href slash work slash fanatic. Very nice. It's so hot I can barely touch it. Let it cool down a little more. It's still practically boiling. Well, at least I got the timing right. So he goes. So he's got his Dolores, and then he's got uh, images, index, CSS main js oh man this thing uses javascript ah. 
That, mu that must be how he got that animation with the image to go over using JavaScript. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I think I'm just going to make it a link. That'll have to do it. So we've got our index.html, and then that, when you click it, will link into a... I wanted to, to expand. Wait. How to make expanding the Probably all JavaScript. Yeah, collapsibles. So this is. Yeah, that's what I want. So to create a collapsible button type button class collapsible open collapsible button. And then for div class content. Yeah, but what's the. So that's the So that's everything I need to make it work. So we'll start with a button. The whole the whole dang row. Oh yeah, I know, right? This whole row is going to be one big button. That should expand into my, or should I just do a link to another thing with my uh, resume? I feel like that would be easier. So it would be like, I mean, you guys in the chat, let me know what you think about this, but I'm thinking, so you're gonna have to scroll down and there's gonna be two rows. And on those rows, there's gonna be a link to the actual resume. Like, my resume. For now, it's just going to be Laura Mibsum, blah, 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 because I haven't actually... I don't have my resume with me, and I really don't have one written. Uh, at least not an updated one. And then... I also gonna... I'm going to make a really cool program, and then make it run in... Uh, in this, which will probably involve Java and stuff, but... Whatever. My dad's got some, like, uh, equations. And some math and stuff for a really cool like simulation with ski jumps. So I'm gonna use that. Uh, I just have to program it to do what I want it to do. And then on the bottom, we're going to have a contact me page. I wanna start with, start, so in this, within this div, we're gonna have, um, we're gonna call this ID resume. Oh, shoot. No caps. So that's going to give us this. And I'm eventually probably just going to turn all of this CSS stuff. I'm going to turn it all into uh, some stuff. And what I mean by some stuff is... I'm going to put it into an actual CSS document, and I actually have it. It's called styles.css, and there's some stuff here that is completely useless. And eventually all that's going to go into the style CSS, and I'll just have a link that goes into that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, and yeah. So ID resume link. Um, we're going to do a H1 here. ID resume. So if you don't know, H1 are headers and stuff when you're doing web design. They work the opposite that you probably think. So on a normal font scale, uh, one is the smallest, obviously, and 10 is the biggest. But when you're doing uh, headers specifically, um, H1 is the biggest and H10 is the smallest, which is very neat. Except I'm just going to be doing a uh, custom font size. Have I not saved it? Oh. Oh. 
Oh, shoot. That's a control all. My bad. This one's also a pretty fire song. Uh, I can't remember what text color I set these to. Um, margin top, width, background, about me, color light gray. So we're gonna make this, and we're going to call it hashtag resume. I got that right. Um, font size, um, font size, let's go 200 actually for now and color light, light gray, I'll try that. Probably way too freaking big. Actually, that's perfect. Line. Text. Align. Center. I need some sort of some sort of background. I'm not sure what I want to do though. Because the first one's black. Hmm. What should I do? Man. All right. Well, what background should I use? Because. Oh, I have to add an about me above this as well. Because that's like the title of this area. So we need to, on before. So under div about, we have to have a header h1 we're gonna call this id about title oh and we're gonna say about me I screwed that up as well. So after title, but under about about title, we're gonna go. See if we've got the about title. Um, it's cool enough to drink yet. Hell no. <laughs> Let's see here. I need a color. Let's go white. Not what I did for the bottom one, I just had light gray. Yeah, so hashtag or so the the about about title is yeah, about title. The H1. So if I just do color, it should work, but it didn't. Oh, there we go. 
That was stupid. And let's go text line center. So now there's an about me. Is it adjustable though? Resume doesn't fit. Yeah. Because the width doesn't work. Uh, I think I can fix that. So if we go into the, um, both of these need a width. I think for about title, I'm just gonna do 60%. And for resume width, oh, it's gonna do 90%. That should work. Now you're not centered anymore. What? It still doesn't work. Hmm. You seem to. Is that actually what was? No, that wasn't changing it. So that broke it too, and it still breaks when you shrink it. Hold up. Where's font size? Max font size. That doesn't work. Bruh. One hundred. I don't even know what that does. Oh, it shrinks it. That's what it does. All right, not doing that. On 100, 100 pixels, obviously way too big because it doesn't fit on most screens. So let's go. Is that what it was set to? Is it set to 100 pixels? Screw this width thing. We don't need it. We don't need it on this either. And that's the minimum width. So on a mobile site, this is what it'll kind of look like, which, I mean, I don't think it's terrible. Yeah, it's not bad. But I want to try something. I want to see, so for, for this, if I can find it, where the heck is the HR? No. That's a, I forgot, that's the div background, so, it, or the alignment, so that's the edge of a div, div. But that should also mean, so right now it's the edge of a div, and it is the div about, right? So if I go to div, the about div, and I remove these. And I know that it works. Wait, I need background color. But borders is fine. Because now if I go here, I can add an HR. And hopefully. It did I save? I did. Let me add a style. Oh shoot, I can't even see the chat right now. 
Alright, no, nothing happened. Alright, style. Uh, border. Solid. White. Go. One pixel. No, let's go three pixels. White. Um. Margin. Top. Five. Let's go ten pixels. Margin. Bottom. Ten pixels. So it didn't space it. I wonder what's up with that. So why isn't it spacing it? Control F border. You still have your border. fix that but it still didn't give it a margin from a from the above side on the HR where's my HR there it is that's the only border now so an HR we got three pixels let's make it I think a one pixel it doesn't need to be huge. That's way better. And it also didn't fix its... The margin top isn't in there. So I think what I need to do is under a, under about here. Margin. Bottom. 10 pixels. See, that forced those down, but it didn't. Wait, did it? Oh, it did. I just can't freaking see it. Trippy. I think I do like the line being right on there, actually. Yeah, I like that better. It doesn't make my eyes hurt nearly as much. I think I'll just do the background on this one black as well. That should work. So this is div resume, which is down here. Background. Color black. And the reason I've got it black isn't. Oh, geez, that does not look right. Oh, the margin. Yeah, uh. Margin. Yeah, screw all. all of that.
What the hell's happening here? The ID is broken. Something's broken. What? Something's happening here. Found you. I gotta fix it. Alright, well, I fixed the writing, but obviously the coding still thought it was fine. Screw that, we don't need it anymore. Alright. That's why uh, control find is very, very helpful. Alright, I'm going to make myself another social media post just in case some people want to come and check it out. Let me just remind myself what my YouTube channel is. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you serious? My channel. There we go, copy link. Someone just replied to a post for a to a question on Marketplace about a car that I asked about like a month ago.
All right, very cool. Is this drinkable yet? I think it is. That is that is some very high quality tea. That's pretty good, actually. Well, uh, let's get to it, shall we? So, let's see, where was I? Ah, yes, trying to figure out that stupid background. So, I think I'm going to start by taking the div. Oh. Well, I changed it. And the font size no longer works because it's set. So that's what I want it to look like. But that doesn't seem to be the case for what it actually looks like. So, resume background color, which is what the div is, is in fact black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the resume, oh, I'm confusing it, I think, hold up. If I remove this div ID, or this ID in general, what does it do? makes it bigger because the div is forcing the font size. See if I if I make a I'll see if I'm right here. Yeah, so it's forcing it into a certain font size with the div. So I need to change the divs font from 100 pixels to, let's say, 70? It's probably close enough, right? Sadly, it doesn't quite fit, though. I thought that was perfect. 50, then. Fits. That's good. Um, I also have to change this to a link too. But I don't actually have a place to link it yet so we're just gonna leave it the way it is first first we need to format it so the font size is correct but the background colors all messed up and there's no margins that are causing it so I'm gonna get a background and or a border for solid pixel white that should tell me what the background oh so when I give it a border none Interesting. So by having a border, it almost fixes it. Border, let's go. Solid, zero pixel, black. Uh, 
That doesn't work either. But if you change this to, let's say, 4 pixels, it does that. Programming can be so complicated. Why is it doing that? I can always just look it up. Why is... Oh, that's not helpful. Well, uh, you learn more from screwing around. <sighs> Man, this sucks a bit. Has the border it works. I wanna see something. No, it just makes it bigger. Alright. I feel like there might actually be a margin that I just can't see. Cause that gap right there makes me think there's a margin. But what it has maybe the you know what this uh the HR might have um, margin zero pixels. That it was from a default margin. That's some big brain stuff right there. So in terms of the way it looks, it looks okay. I guess. I don't know what about it I don't really like. Can't tell though. How's my chat doing? I still got two more hours of this. I am going to be taking a break pretty soon. Uh, then I'll be back on. Actually, if something I can do right now is I can just, I can add a scene. Be on this scene though. Um, actually, you're not going to see anything for a couple seconds, just so you know, because I'm I'm currently making a new scene just for when I'm done. Alright, cool. So that should be fixed. Alright. So that's where I'm at. Anyone who's maybe new, maybe isn't, I don't know. I can't, the chat is like, or the YouTube is always saying that like there's one viewer, then there's no viewers. But, uh. Yeah. I can't tell when there's people in the chat and when there isn't. Uh, right. 
So now I need to change resume into a link, but before we do that, I need to create a new file. And we're gonna call this one re plain text. You're going to be HTML. And we're going to save you here, and we're going to call you so that was index. This one's gonna be called resume. Dot. And the reason I don't have it capitalized is because I don't wanna have to shift every time I wanna say resume.html. So we're going to link. So instead of an H1 resume, we're going to make this a link. I gotta remind myself how links work here. Hold up. HTML link. HTML hyperlinks. That's what I want. href. The image. A. Okay, so A is hyperlink. Got it. So it's just an A. We don't need the link. A href. And then. I give it the link uh, very cool so let's see if this works href sends you to that absolute URLs versus relative URLs Okay, so you just do quotes. I see, so it's like that, and then you do, so the thing I'm looking for is resume that HTML. So it changes it, and it takes you to the empty resume.html page. Good. Now we need to fix the size. Maybe if I go like this, H1. Oh, <laughs> I reloaded the wrong page. <laughs> I reloaded the actual chat on accident. Whoopsies. Damn, seven playbacks. I don't like that it's purple, but I do like that that works. So you load in, this will be the website, and you can look at the About Me page, and then you go down here and you click Resume, it takes you to the resume, and then under Resume, we need to make another HR with the same settings as the previous HR. And actually, this would be, I think, a lot more efficient if I just gave it a class and called it divider. But for now, this will have to work. And I actually kind of like it. It looks pretty decent. Obviously, I'm going to have to add some stuff to make this, you know, a little more cool. But, like, I, I kind of like how simple it is. I think it's very cool. Now, let's see here. If I So, if I go into the files... And here, and I drag senior pick into images, title into images, and universe.jpg into images. And then I do, so it's capitalized. So um, we'll start up here. Senior pick, we're going to change this to slash images slash senior pick. And let's see if it still works. No, it doesn't. I don't know why it isn't. There it is. So the slash is what broke it. So I just have to go into all of these and have to do images slash. And this is just for organization. 
Now that works. Now... I think that's everything, actually. That was all my images, correct? Page looks correct? Yes. Cool. Alright, in 20 minutes I'm going to take like a 10 minute break. And then we'll be back. So, let's... I'm really actually, I'm pretty impressed on how it looks so far. We'll have to do the resume page. So far I'm liking, I'm liking how this is working. It looks like it looks pretty decent on your guys'. It looks totally broken on yours, what am I saying? It's like one of the lines isn't working. Whatever. It looks good on my end. No, it looks fine on there. It was just like a broken part for some reason. So the HR is correct, and then now I need a new div. Oh, thumbs up. And then, so for this div, I want it to be um, link. Call this H1. How's everybody in the chat doing? I know I've been streaming for like an hour and a half. Anyways, anyone who's been watching, and have, have I been able to keep it at least relatively pay attentionable? Um, so I need to, I want resume and, oh, I didn't give this an ID, did I? Um, we're gonna call this cool stuff. That should be good enough. And then all of this should be the same. See what I said when I said that once you get this stuff going, it's like super easy. Look at that. And then, so for contact me, um, I think I'm gonna have to draw out what, what I want my contact me to look like. So, pull up OBS, make sure you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. Uh, might be the lighting might be really bad here, but hopefully, yeah, the, this this sheet's totally blank, but. You can tell it's actually not blank. So what I'm doing right now is working on, I need to design what I want my about me to look like, or my, my contact me page, which should be pretty simple. I think, I don't even know where to start. Let's look at what the other contact me pages look like. So if we go down to the bottom here, This doesn't really have like a official a contact me. Let's. So they just have an email pop up link that takes them to their email. What was that? Oh, I pulled up. YouTube. All right. Anything happening in chat? Nope. So, such a pain. Uh -huh. 
Oh, there we go. Sorry, everything like broke. All right. <laughs> that scared me for a second. I still can't see my live chat. Oh, there we go. Oh, one point I peaked to three viewers. That's mad. Oh my god, what is up with my internet break? Something's happening. Hold up. There we go. I couldn't see chat. It's like totally broken. We good now. Anyways, back to looking at people's contact me pages. It doesn't look like these two really have contact me's, so. Let's see if any of these people understand how to do hyperlinks now. Alright, that is actually kind of cool. So the planetary sciences? Yeah, that is a ton of JavaScript. Oh man. So this is kind of how he did his. So you click on this and it pops up that as a, it opens up Outlook. I'm assuming if I didn't have Outlook, it would open it up in Gmail maybe? Otherwise I can copy it. Uh, Purdue University, that's a, that's a pretty crazy college. Nah, shoot. I'm just I'm gonna take a break in two minutes, but for now let's so I am gonna do it centered like this, I think. Oh Lafayette, Indiana. That's cool. Let's just go. This doesn't have to be perfect. We'll make it better later on there because I have awful handwriting. So, and then under that, we're just going to go. Now, this is going to be up for future stuff. So, right, uh, right now, I go to high school, but pretty much right out of high school, I'm going straight to a different place. So, I'm just going to go student at. I'm just going to say student. Ooh, this sounds cool. Yo, I used this song for time lapses. That's where I recognize it. Like in my ARC series. Oh, uh, when I had like, or my Minecraft. If you like go back and you look at my Minecraft series. Uh, I had like some crazy time lapses of like when I was doing builds and stuff. And I was supposed to continue that, but I got really sick of it. And I had beaten the Ender Dragon. Then I deleted it when I was trying to clear up space for my current class on accident, so I completely deleted the, uh, me beating the Ender Dragon, getting Elytra and all that crazy stuff, like, we were, it was awesome, it was a pretty crazy series, but, you know, sometimes it doesn't work the way you want it to, such as the, hmm, that's too bad, 
Here, I'll pause. Alright, so maybe that'll increase my stream. Yeah, it's a stream status is poor, but it didn't seem too bad for you guys. I don't know. You guys let me know if it gets bad at any point. Like, super laggy. Alright, well. I'm going to take a... 10 minute break. And, yeah. I will be right back. In 10 minutes. I'm a bad, 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 I'
Like me when it was over One more day of sorrow And I'll struggle to stay sober Hope to see you later When I get older I still remember the smell Of your perfume It hasn't left me since the day You made me blue I think I saw you but I know I'm not supposed to I must be dreaming cause I don't believe In ghosts yeah, ghosts yeah. All right, I'm back, eating a sandwich. Yeah. Let's get back to work.
Ah, someone has returned. I'm gonna throw this away real quick. All right, I'm back. Ah, too far. So, what I've done so far, I just finished this, which is going to be the basic design for the contact me. I used it based off this uh, Brandon Johnson planetary science thing. Uh, doesn't really matter, but, you know, whatever. So, concurrent viewers. Yeah. All right. So what I want to do, anyone who uh, just hopped in, this is uh, the current website. If you're new and you haven't been watching. I do not have the full process yet, and you won't even see it in this full video because any experienced programmer or, you know, web designer probably, one, thinks this looks absolutely awful, and two, could have made it in approximately an hour. I am used to this, and, uh, or new to this, I guess, and, uh, this is like just this much with working links. Took me dang close to four ish. No, I'm, I'm probably at like 10 hours at this point. And I'm going to have to compile all of this. I've got pictures from the initial design process, and then I'm going to be posting it as a YouTube video as part of my final project. Besides me, uh, this is the final project, and then I've got that to show what I've done, or that I've done it, and I've spent the time. And I'm going to turn that into probably like a 20 minute YouTube video talking about my process and my experience with doing this. And then I have to, to present it to a panel of people and pray that they let me graduate. <laughs> yeah, but this is what I'm at right, right now. Okay, it looks okay. Man, people just keep popping in and leaving. Big sad. We know the resume link works. I haven't turned this into anything because I'm not sure how I'm going to do the cool program <laughs> at all. I have no idea how I'm going to do it. I don't even know if I'm going to do a cool program. This whole section right here might get deleted or it'll be a future thing because this, uh, this website is going to get updated forever and I'll probably keep making streams about me working on the website because it's pretty cool, I think. Anyone who's not into computers at all probably thinks I'm weird, but I enjoy this. So the next, next section is going to be cool. Oh, that's the cool stuff. And then now we have a div. Yeah. And this one, I'm going to go this H1. Nope. Crap, this is different. So first, we have to give it an ID. And the ID is going to be contact. No caps. All right. I go back up here. And uh, copy everything but the font size. I think what we want here. Damn, three viewers, hell yeah. How's it going? Welcome to the stream, or welcome back if you're coming back after the break. Oh yeah, what's up? What's up, Megalink Gaming? Brevin, I know who that is. 
Welcome to my stream. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I'm building my website for my capstone right now. How's that PC build going for you? Camera pointed down still. Getting the hang of the PC building. How far are you on it? Oop, don't want to do that. So I still need to. Oh, I need an HR as well. with COVID, definitely. I, it depends where you're ordering them. Uh, I ordered a M2 drive because uh, I'm doing a PC rebuild. Uh, not part of my thing, but uh, not part of my capstone, but I'm just going to do a PC rebuild. Uh, I'm doing something with the old parts, so I'm doing a rebuild. And the I got an M2 drive with one day shipping on Amazon for free, and it got here in a day, which was... I was pretty blown away. Though the case... Is taking forever. It won't be here till like the 13th. Which is crazy to me. Uh, and I've got a bunch. I've got a. I went on the marketplace and bought. Super shady deal. Bought myself a power supply. From some guy that was moving to Wales. Which was pretty sweet. But yeah. Damn, CPU takes forever. <laughs> when did you order it? Because I'm pretty sure the capstone is due in just like five days. <laughs> That's the whole reason I'm doing all this. I'm trying to grind out 60 hours of work in, well, <laughs> like five days. Which is pretty crazy, but it can be pulled off. And if you're looking, I'm, I don't know what like... Uh, G or CPU you're looking for, but uh, when I bought my CPU, I was able to find one at Best Buy, like a store that had it, and I just drove there and grabbed it off their stuff. Ah, uh, it's due Friday. Yes, yeah, that's that sounds about right. Well, if you want any more tips. Let me know. I do enjoy talking about PC building. It is probably my favorite thing to talk about. All right, so we're gonna start. Um, I guess we under contact. We need. Oh, you did check. That's that's too bad. Center. So, I'm just going to do this in paragraph stuff because uh, I can't remember how to make spaces. something I can add to this actually yeah rise oh you're using the the third gen Ryzen components that's a that's a really good bang for your buck CPU right there 
my 2600 is about as powerful that, as that one, and I think it's like 40 bucks more expensive, at least when I bought it. Very nice choice in CPU. Very good. I think that will go for like 150 maybe? It's like 150 to 200, I can't remember. Ooh. I think the Ryzen 5 is, the Ryzen 5, at least the 3600, which is what I was thinking about upgrading to, but I'm just gonna stick with my Ryzen 2500. Uh, Cause it like never, I mean, I can check right now. If we go into performance here. Yeah, my CPU with all of this stuff running, and I have a lot of stuff running, I'm only at 17% running at 3.8 gigahertz. Um, which I think is pretty cool. I need to be able to overclock it. Because I think I can overclock it to over 4 gigs. Which is pretty cool. And we're going to just call this one contact me. Slash one. Except instead of an H1, let's go with an H4. Make it a little smaller. That should look pretty close. Oh, H4 is way too small. Two? Four core, eight threads. Yeah, that's not terrible. I think I run... Mine has like six cores, 12 threads maybe? Yeah. My 2600 is pretty good. It's the non X, but whatever. It's still pretty sweet. H2 still. No, I think that's perfect. Uh, the gap right there is a little small. Uh, or big, I guess, style. Seeing how the newest one for Ryzen is called the Threadripper. Oh! Yeah, it's got, I think the newest one has like dang near 60 threads, or uh, cores, which is absolutely mad. Like 60 cores is crazy. I know like, I think that's like a non-consumer one though, but the consumer ones are still like 30, 30 cores. Like the, the second gen, I think, have like 24 cores, um, which is crazy. Zero emoji is found. I'm not trying to do emojis. Pixels. Yeah, 64 cores and 128 threads. That's just crazy to me that they were able to punch that. But the <laughs> in exchange, it kind of looks funny, right? I don't know if you've seen the Thread River. Anyone who's watching this can also see. But the shape of the thread ripper ripper is wonky. As you can see, like normal, normally like a CPU is like a square, kind of. But this the thread ripper is like a rectangle, and it's absolutely huge. But I mean, that's how you gotta fit 64 cores into a processor. Yeah, dual threads. It's pretty sick. I wish I could afford to build. A Ryzen, like a Threadripper build, like with wa like custom water cooling. If I had the time for that, that would be like absolutely crazy. So I don't want the margin, but I don't think I really have a choice. Oh wait. Maybe I can, hold up. I think I know how to cheat this. So instead of doing a margin, I'll just force the width. To, to 20, 20%? Nah, that's, that's way too much, 10%. Should do it. Oh, I opened up this. I can't see the chat. Huh.
I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. It's fine. For now. Yeah, Viper is pretty good. I've got 16 gigs of like, like when it when I bought it, it was like like some huge sale and it was 32 bucks for some like weird brand of RAM that like it was like really shady. But I ordered it and this it, it works fine. I don't have it clocked to the speed it's supposed to be at, but it still works fine. Um. Which is cool. This still work it does so basically what I'm doing when I shrink it down like this I'm checking to make sure that the mobile so when you put it on mobile it'll format to this this is what it looks like when you're on a mobile device which isn't terrible uh, I don't like the only thing I don't like is this image but uh, what can you do I'm just kidding you can do a lot of things I just don't know how Oh, Jesus Christ, that's strong. Oh, I'm awake. The bottom stuff's so freaking metallic. I think I'm going to go for the uh, $20 mug of tea this time. I'm out of this. I don't know, bitch. Man, we had viewers for a second there. There was two. Where'd they come from? Where'd they go? Where'd they come from? Katnajo. Alright. It's gonna get a little noisy for a second. I've got my teapot running in the background because I'm gonna make myself a second thing of tea. First, I gotta get all these old leaves out because I don't want to mix. My fancy tea with my Earl Grey. Because that doesn't... I mean, I'm sure it'll taste fine, but... As much as I can avoid it, I will. Oh yeah, I spiked to three viewers at like 7.40 and it's like 7.50. Whatever. So students studying software development. Oh, what's this? Oh shoot. Someone was talking in the group chat. Um, all right, so we're gonna do ship Valley Technical College. Enough. Okay. Let's go. Oh, what's this? Mm. Very neat. Uh, I got my email. Oh, 
which I'll eventually be turning into a link. Trying to convince someone to come check out the stream. They haven't started their capstone. I was like, well, it's either going to make you feel bad or you'll get inspired. All right. You got to stop giving. Damn phone's giving me notifications for someone's typing. I don't need to know when they're typing, I just need to know when they send me a message. Like, come on. Alrighty, so all the text is centered, which is good. Now I just need to work on margins. You know I'm streaming, right? No. Oh, I am. Alright, what? This is what it looks like. Is anybody watching? Yeah, people are watching. Oh, Brevin. I think. I think Brevin's still watching. You should say something in chat if you're still watching. I can't really see what, what y'all are doing. Who's in, who's not. And it works on mobile. Except for my picture. My picture's the only thing that doesn't. Make it. I haven't gotten to, I don't know how. I'm try, I've am i been trying to figure that out for a while. And I just moved on to something else. And this link works. I haven't done anything with this resume Resume. Yet. Resume. Resume. Really? Am I spelling it wrong? I think you have it right. Am I spelling a resume right? Say the difference between resume and resume. Just spell it twice. All right. Are you spelling it right? Yeah, I am. <laughs> All right, I just need to add margins and stuff. So between Logan Gundry and stu or student and student studying. Who's all watching? I don't need student studying. I think I just need studying. Who's this? Who's who? That one. That's Brevin. He's building a PC for his capstone. Why didn't you do that? Why? Because I can't. I'm broke. Marg, uh, in, bottom. So 10 pixels. And I put an S there. Do you have to put money into the capstone? Logan? I haven't put any money into the capstone. Well, you, you need a computer to be able to build a website, so... But I didn't. You can use a school computer if you want to. The only pr problem with this stupid COVID thing is that we're not able to work on it in school. Especially me, because I don't have a second study hall. But you have one study hall. All you need is one study hall. No, because I've got a lot. Of, I've got other things I need to be doing in my study hall. I think I know how to make this work better. I'm still gonna keep that margin. No, I'm not actually. This is where my hat went. What? That's my hat. No, mine's super dirty. Mm -hmm. Well, the more you know, I had two hats in here, and I took that one. So there's another hat sitting around somewhere. What's Any, this? Anything one? happening on here? What's what? The Team USA one? Hey, don't careful. They fall out. Yeah, I know, but where'd you get that? Bought it I while I was in like Park City, I think. I don't. It's not a team. It's not a USA you Nordic make one. Your Logan hat on top. It's an old hat. I don't wear. Why would I put it on top? That means I have to dig for the other one.
what are you doing right now? What do all those spaces do? Nothing. Why do you do anything? Because it looks good. Make this look, sure this looks right. So all of this is in the these two need to be indented. That looks about right. I'm gonna make myself some tea real quick. Plenty of time to fix my sleep schedule after this thing breaks it. I think it's crazy how many people haven't started their capstone and they still expect us to do it. Like, I seriously expected them to at least, like, postpone it, maybe even cancel it, but, like, holy crap, come on. Are you going to start a capstone during this horrible thing? And my mom's like, I think it makes sense because you got plenty of time. I'm like, I don't have plenty of time. I got tons of other stuff I got to do. I did something pretty sick to my uh, car interior, bro, and I can, I'll send it to you. It's pretty, pretty dope. I did a thing. It's pretty neat. I sent it. Hopefully it goes through. So I didn't really change anything yet. But what I can do is I can change the spacing between the divs. As well as... Uh, oh, there's an extra slash in there. Did I change anything? I think I'll probably stream tomorrow. Well, you you saw the one thing I did to my car in my story, but I added something to it. What I did is I changed the wiring for the the um, and I'll probably do like a detailed thing in the in my story once it's done. But I carbon fiber wrapped the area around my. Uh, yeah, I know, right? They should have made it due in, like, like at least December. Like, giving us some time to do it. Like, have it due after, like, a long break would be really good. So, that, like, people who are, like, have time to work on it during a break so that there's no extra assignments being piled on top of you. But I guess we all could have been working on it in the summer, but, like, gosh, not very many people worked on it over the summer. Hang this headset back up. Yeah, after Christmas would be awesome, but... Sadly, they opted not to do that. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, well, I requested my, uh, Tapstone thing. Like, probably beginning of the summer, asked them to uh, approve my Tapstone. And they didn't respond to it, like... They didn't accept, or they didn't even accept it. They resp they declined it, 
in October. It's, it's still not fully accepted, so I have to get it accepted this week. But it's not that hard. They're just like, how are you going to get out to the people? And like, I'm streaming the creation of my capstone. Which is one way to get out to the people. And second, I'm buying a server company to host the... Or I'm, bu I'm buying a server from a server company to host it. Yeah, I know the car looks absolutely fantastic. I got a new shift knob, which I wish was a little better. I wish the shift knob was a little better. It's it's weird. Like, it's got an LED light, which is freaking sick, but it's, like, it's kind of flimsy, and I had to, like, really work to get it on there, and there's nothing to hook onto the... nothing to hook the boot onto, so it's kind of, like, jammed into it to make it hold. So I wish I could have done that a little better, but... Whatever. Anyone who's watching this later and doesn't understand what we're talking about, I just recently installed an LED light kit, or like an LED kit on the interior of my car. So there's like lights, there's like cool lights that goes with music and stuff. And I hid all the wires under the shifting stuff and put in a new shift knob and all that stuff because it's a manual, so I can do that really easily. So we're gonna call this. ID contact one ID contact two ID Darren's tombstone. Yeah, Rick Darren. I wish I could have continued that thing, but Trey kind of dropped it, which was too bad. But yeah, Dar that Darren death was big sad. If you're in here and you, ha and you haven't seen Darren's funeral or any of the ARC live streams that we did, Darren was a much-loved friend that we were going to use as... Well, he was just our dumb dodo that died. It was, it was, it was a fat rip in the chat. Pretty sick though. Ah, fuck me, that is hot. Excuse my language. But now we go up here and we do contact one, contact two. Do I have a contact three? Yeah, I do. And all these should have the same settings to make it work. The only difference I think is gonna be width. That's the only thing we're really gonna have to fiddle with here. All right. I think so far it looks. It'll do like a slow thing that I can maybe put into my channel here. Yeah. Whatever. That's what it looks like so far. I think it looks okay. And it's it does this. Like a shrink so I can you can access it on mobile, which is always nice. Though the picture breaks on mobile. I don't know if I've made that very clear yet. Which I don't like. And I would like to fix it. But it takes forever. Alright. So for the first one. I think I want the width to be. So for contact one. We'll start with width at. Let's go, I don't know, that might be too much, but. Excuse me?
Oh, because the div isn't centered. Hold up. How to center a container with the page in CSS. Oh, auto margins. So margin left, auto, margin right, auto. All right, that seems pretty simple. Margin left, auto, margin right. And I am, for now, going to give these an outline, but it is only temporary. Solid, one pixel, white. Yo, I hit two likes. Sick. Let's add a zero in here just to make sure that my system's actually working. Yep, it is. So I'm setting it to 100. Big brain. That's how you make things work. So I can remove that outline. But I'm going to keep it copied. Now let's make sure it still works when I reload. All right, perfect. So now for contact two, we need to do the same thing. custom width. So we're going to go with, for now, let's just go with 300 pixels and see how that looks. That should be perfect. Let's try it. So we need to make this, in order to cut that thing off, we're going to go 270, should fix it. Yep. I think it's raining outside. Very cool. Next. So that 
how it looks like so far. All right, so now I just, I don't know, it looks pretty solid. This needs to become a hyperlink. Uh, how to have an email open. Open. Mail two links, yeah. So you can make a garden variety anchor A open a new mail. Let's take a journey to this feature. href mail to. Oh. check out the stream so it's an href mail to so we set this from that to an ahref mail to and then the page this is blue I've got to change that color that's nasty hold up how to change a link color in HTML. hello second viewer I have no idea who you are an unvisited link is underlined blue a visited link is underlined in purple an active link A visited all right so you need like an if you want to see what the thing looks like this is what my website looks like so far it's pretty cool so to do a to do is so for a so for the link color is going to be green or color background color transparent text color none here and on visit links will be green with no underline a visited link will be pink with no underline an active link will be yellow in addition one mousing over a link will become a red and underlined Uh, this looks complicated. I'm gonna have to cover up the. Oh no, I don't have to cover up the chat. I'll just put Adam right next to the chat. Very cool. 
All right, so. So that, that, that link should work. Let's try it real quick, make sure it's actually functioning. So if I click this, it works. Very, very cool. So it popped open my mail by doing that. But now I'm going to give this an ID. ID mail. So now I can go up here. You can't actually see what I'm doing. Here. Now you can see what I'm doing. And now we need to set the oh well all right so a so link color like this Blink. and then color light gray background none or transparent I think Hover over it, it doesn't do anything, but it's a link. We are going to give it an underline just so people can tell what it is. And then. And we're going to go visited. Color. Yo, chat, what should the color be of the text after someone clicks on it? I want a color that's pretty good, so someone who's relatively decent at colors and stuff, let me know what the visited color should be. Or if I should just leave it at deep, leave it at light gray. Or change it to white or something. Or dark gray. I can always just spam two six times. I'm watching for an answer. Anybody got anything? Maroon? All right. I don't even know if that counts the color on here. It does. Very cool. There is a delay, so. All right. Bruh, are you serious? It's gonna do that? Oh, whatever. Vote if you want to, I guess. Looks like Streamlabs wants me to bring back my uh, Pokemon. That is old. <laughs> it's from like two years ago. <laughs> Looks like Streamlabs is actually doing something. All right. All right. Underline, click on it. All right, well, it didn't change the color. 
Must have screwed something up. Text decoration. Color. Maroon. Yeah, after visited. That's weird that it didn't change colors. Maybe I have to add it as an active color. I'll just add them all in and see what happens. Make that so I'm not gonna keep clicking on it. Yeah. No, I don't. All right. Sorry, my dad was just asking if I have any micro SD cards, which I do not have at the moment. We'll just set them all to maroon and see what happens. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. works. There's your maroon, Hanley. Though, sadly, the used thing doesn't work. I don't know if that's just because I can't track that I've used it. There you go. You click on it. Ah, well, it works. That's cool. Jeez, now I just need to add a long uh, margin on the bottom so that you can actually see it well. Uh, margin. What's this? Under contact. Margin. Bottom. Let's go 30 pixels. Let's go. Let's do 20% actually. That should work. Oh, open my resume. Alright, I need to mess with the height of this. The height of the contact here. Um, Let's do a min height, actually. Nope, height is fine. Nope, min height. Let's see, what percentage of screen do you think that is? Way too frickin' long. Whatever. Hopefully it doesn't taste like metal. Nope, tastes great. Perfect. Alright, see you later. Really need to fix my stream delay there. Min height. Let's just go. I'm gonna say that's 55 percent. Uh, 
Oh, cool. Spamming reload makes you scroll up. Solid white. I can never get min height to work. Or height for that matter. I don't know why. Maybe it's not controlled here. Let's go down to contact. ID contact height. Did I say it was 55%? Oh, nope, that didn't change it either. That, that should be under just contact three, I think. Margin, bottom, no viewers. Well, that was fun. This is gonna mess with my resume one. Oh, yeah, background. And deck. Is it decoration? Text decoration.
ID. This is a grind, let me tell you. This is quite the grind. Mad. Man, my computer is getting really slow with all this stuff running. I don't need these anymore. So why is that a link? Yeah, that's right, but... Why isn't my, so your ID, A, ID resume link, href resume .html. That's why it wasn't working. I forgot I did that to try to fix it. Oh damn, that freaking broke it actually. They removed the out underline. Sick. So I'm just gonna call X. H1 ID resume link. Why isn't it working then? Bruh. Gotta love the capstone grind, am I right? I totally broke this by putting in that H1 stuff, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove this H1 and I'm going to re. We do this. The right way. So right now it's tiny, so we need I 
resume link is going to be Maybe set it to 200? I know it's a big jump, but yeah, that's way too big because that's not going to fit on a mobile site. Yep. Is 100 actually the move here? Click resume. Takes me to the resume page, which is currently blank because I haven't touched it yet. That's what we're going to do tomorrow. to some cool program. All right, so that works. So now I can do, I think all this stuff. Yeah, because there's no, so if I do hover, and we do um, color background transparent. Try a blue though. Try ocean. That's not natural color. HTML codes. Yale space Prussian. Let's try Yale. Why not? I'm not sure how that's gonna look, but fuck it. What's the code? Damn it, Pinterest. Color picker. HTML. HTML color picker. Very nice. That one's okay. We're bringing a little darker. Let's enter that color code for my color. Ooh, I like that. That's a good color. And then you click it. And then it takes me to the blank card my page. Mm, now let's just add uh, margins on the... Margins on the top and bottom to make it look good. Margin, bottom, I 
Are these margins even working? No, they're not. I wonder why they aren't. So resume link should change where it sits, but it isn't, which is weird. Uh, margin top five hundred pixels. Yeah, it's not doing anything. I don't know why. It's kind of annoying. I would like to have the resume thing at least the same size as the and change that height to like nothing. I want a default again. I think it's about time I put all this. Holy crap, look at how long that is. Yeah, it's about time I start using my styles at CSS because it's making it really hard to move around. So we're going to start by Control X, Control Paste, and then. I might have just broken it. So this is what it's going to look like when it breaks. That's what it looks like with no styles. When the styles doesn't link properly. style sheet, href, link, href, and it's capitalized. Now 
Now when I go here, I reload my page. Still doesn't work. Rel style sheet. Oh, there we go. So I've moved all of it into this separate style sheet, which will eventually have to be organized because this is kind of ugly. For now, it looks okay. And then we're going to have a... So when it links to resume... But I'm actually going to change here. So it's, we're going to go slash. We're going to go re resume slash resume.html. And then over here, we're going to make a new folder. And we're going to call it resume. under desktop capstone select folder ah, screw it I'll just have to create it myself capstone new folder called resume So we're gonna move resume into here. Oh, that was wrong. Resume goes in resume. Good, that still works. So now resume in here will have its own styles and all that which is pretty sick holy crap three hours of working on gapstone one sitting and i was working on this for probably two hours beforehand before i decided you know what i think i want to stream this so yeah it does not it is not quick and easy and I'm going to remove the style section here. Actually, I think I'll leave style there for anything that I want. No, screw it. No style. Make sure it didn't break it when I removed that. It added that, but I think it's good. I like this. It's starting to look pretty solid, I think. Uh, I mean, it runs. Great. Resume link works. And this works. It opens up mail, which I do like to have. Yeah, I love it. I think I'm going to increase those margins, maybe? Yeah, let's go into styles. Look at these contacts. So, contact one. Margin bottom. Let's go 30 pixels. And just see how that looks. I do like that gap. Instead of 30% or 6%, I think I'm going to go down to 4 here. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. And obviously this will get a few touch-ups as it goes along, but I... I think it looks great. I think we're at a great spot to uh, end off tonight. So, if 
you're watching this outside of the stream and you liked it, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Really appreciate it. And it makes my capstone look 